Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another video. And today we are playing Test Drive Unlimited 2. Now, this game I think came out in 2010, and this game was way before any other racing game of its time. To this day, I still think this game is way ahead of any other game out there. Um, obviously, you get Need for Speed, you get all the customization, that's all well and good, but. This game just has so much extra content that makes it almost like a Rockstar Games kind of thing. Rockstar, the way they do their games, they put e extra effort in. Extra stuff that they do. Yeah, the servers aren't up at the moment, which is sad. But they put extra effort in into their games to make them more realistic. And that's what um, Eden Games done with this. They made it a more realistic game and it is so good. Um, if you guys haven't played this, it is still on, like, Steam and stuff like that. Um, and you can obviously buy a disc copy for your console. Definitely give it a try. Um, but yeah, this is going to be good. We're getting demonetized as well. This tube. Wow. Ah, oh, this slow motion. So we can pick our character now. Um, we have a couple of choices. Um, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go for this guy. Oh, look at this. This game looks amazing, though. Like, obviously, for a 2010 game, I say this. Oh, hang on. Oh, I can become DJ. I'm a DJ. Ah, uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of boring. Hello, Tess. Happy birthday! I hope you like the party. Let's go to the garage. I've got you a surprise. When I say I'm this sure game was ahead like. of its time, though, the voice lines definitely weren't ahead of its time. <laughs> Let's go to the garage. And here is your gift. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Ooh, Ferrari. I like Ferrari. Ferrari, nice. Well, for the color, I hesitated a bit, but finally, I think I made the right choice. What do you think? Do you like it? No, I don't. Well, I can walk through Go you. Go ahead, uh. open the door. Admire the interior. She's yours. Go ahead. Get inside and check her out. Check her out. Don't be shy. Start the engine and go for a ride. I want to shut the door. I don't feel safe. Oh, yeah. There we go. Door shut. Oh, the engine sounds are good in this game. Also, the loading times are very quick. And I know that sounds like a surprise. For a game like this, they got the loading time spot on. Oh, that is good. That is so loud, I'm going to have to turn it down. There we go. You can change the camera at any time. Oh, yeah, and there's first person, which looks very nice indeed. Oh, pardon me. Uh, one of these things that this game has, actually, you have, like, indicators. Um, but you also can put the roof up. And it has a completely different feel once the roof goes up. Hang on. Driving, you can select secondary menus, such as the radio, window position, and other options. Ooh. 
now the engine seems a bit muted. And then you put the windows down. You can hear more of the engine. It's really cool. Oh, we gotta put the roof back down though. This car doesn't do it justice if you have the roof up. Um, they actually have quite a few convertible cars actually. Um, I know there's a couple of Audis that are convertible. Um, oh. Hey you, you who? Hey you, you who? Up now. Wake up. Oh no, the dream's ending. I'm sad. I like that Ferrari. Yoo -hoo. Wake up. Where have you been? Do you know how long I've been waiting? I have better things to do than stand here. Hold I've on. I've been in the car. Hi, Dad. <laughs> no, I'm still at the hotel. Yes, I know I'll be late, but it's the valet's fault. It took him forever to bring my car. What? How could it? Oh, it's that guy who thinks he's a professional racer. That's the last time he takes off in a guest's car. Tell him he's fired. Fired. I think it's quite clear. You know, on second thought, I have a better idea. You fancy yourself a racer? Why don't you drive me to the San Antonio Club? You get me there in time, and I'll get you a spot in the biggest racing competition in history. The, the solo, solo crown. crown sound like a fair trade get in the car let's see what you're worth take me to the club oh my solo gosh it's been ages since us. i played this this is gonna be good um so hopefully i'm planning on doing all of the championships no, take me to the club because Easy. whenever i played this game as a kid i sort of just messed you around with the cars i never I actually know. got any okay. higher than like a5 class a competition organized with the so hopefully we can get higher than that and get to like the highest class and finish the game. Stupid accident. That's why you're in this car, by the way. I need a replacement. You proved yourself worthy, of course. That's enough talk. Show me what you've got. Let's go. Oh, careful! I'd like to get there in one piece. I didn't like your Ferrari anyways. John, hello. <laughs> I just learned about your car. That's really unlucky. Just before the big competition. Well, that'll be for the next one. See ya. Get a move on. My time is precious. I'm moving. Oh my gosh, she is impatient. She doesn't have any form of patience. She's like, yeah, we gotta do it now, let's go. You're a menace on the road. I know I am. Joe, you know I'm putting the roof up just to piss you off. into a what? Come on! Hurry up! I'm ready! Everyone's in place? Okay. Three, two, one. And action! Welcome to the first season of Solar Crown. The world's greatest drivers will be battling it out before you. We've got classic cars, SUVs, and asphalt cars, driven by the world's most daring drivers. Our cameras won't leave them alone for a moment, and you'll find me down on the track. I'm going to knock them dead. Unfortunately, John Evans won't be taking part, but here's a new challenger. Hi, everyone. Who 
will win the crown. That's for our only driver. voice line as well. Tune into Solar Crown to find out. And cut. Beautiful. Nice take. Thank you, people. Now let's cross our fingers and hope it shows in the ratings. You've got to pick up the licenses, though. Go see Todd Bishop. He runs the classic driving school. He'll sort you out. I've got stuff to do. Let's hey, get some uh, classic driving driver. licenses. Well, the first thing a driver needs is a car. And since it looks like money might be an issue, let's go visit a friend of mine. He's got great cars for better prices. Follow me. He's judging us. I don't appreciate being judged. Actually, before we do anything... Oh, I've just skipped that entire bit. Oh, well. Uh, so basically, this guy uh, sells used cars. Um, what I'm going to do quick... And see, man. Here we go. Oh no. Um, I'm going to have the volume muted, but if you guys want to hear just a little bit of music in the background, see if I can add a little bit. Um, let me know down in the comments down below. Okay, so we have the choice of a Ford Mustang Fastback. Um, so the speed looks pretty good for that. Um, no, the speed doesn't look good, but the acceleration looks really good. Uh, then for this, the acceleration and speed and braking is all very good. And then this one, oh, it's even better. This is definitely the best of the bunch. And by the looks of it, okay, it's not quite the cheapest, but it's definitely cheap. Um, we can paint it, uh, we can put stickers on it, and we can also upgrade it, as shown by the three boxes in the corner. Um, let's just do some quick comparisons. So yeah, our car is way better in acceleration and braking. And for this one, yeah, it's the best of the bunch. Uh, even, yeah, that is very good. Uh, let's go and buy this one. The Lancia Delta Stratos, whatever it is. I don't know. So in TDU2, you have 63 levels to reach. This global level is a summary of four skills, competition, discovery, collection, and social. Uh, you earn a new title for every 10 levels of your progression in your global level. Your current title is Inglorious. So buying a car, we've sort of started leveling up collection. So once that collection levels up, we then earn ourselves one level, uh, one global level. Oh, by the way, uh, I have a new killer device, the Friend Free Ride Instant Money. It'll record any time you nail a dodge, jump, or drift. Try to chain them together as much as possible without touching anything. Any impacts, and you'll lose everything. It'll be up to you to bank the money at the right moment. Come on, I'll install it for you. This is interesting. Right. Let's see how this baby handles. He managed to stand up with a leg brace, no problem. That's pretty decent. Um, so it says all driving aids are act Do you know what? I want to go for sport. I think that's what we went for. Right. Let's see how this baby rocks. Time to try out the frim. Try to dodge cars, do jumps or trips. That should increase your gauge. If the gauge is filled, either wait to earn more money. So that's the frim at the top. Free ride instant money. So you can bank multiple levels if you want to. Oh, you! It's rising. Well, I messed that up. You can see that you're a fast learner. So if you hit anything, you actually lose all of what you got. Um, it's a good way to sort of boost your bank a little bit. Just 
follow the directions on your GPS. Oh, it's telling me to turn around. Bank. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Well, it wouldn't turn. <laughs> Um, this game is like the peak of progression as well. It is just right. Um, same as Forza Motorsport 3. Um, I think by the time I uh, by the time I record this, it's not actually out. But there should be a Forza Motorsport 3 video that got released on Friday uh, for Forza Friday as a uh, progression series that I've decided to do. Um, but yeah. The progression for that is actually pretty decent. It's not half bad. Also, the console game, they mapped the bank button with the flash button. So whenever you wanted to bank something, you would always flash another racer, challenge them, and then end up doing a race, even though you didn't want to. It's kind of funny. <laughs> So our car is topping out at 137. Oh, I'm sorry. I just killed an innocent child in the back of that car. I feel bad now. The destination is 1.5 miles away. The destination is 1.5 miles away. Try banking the second level. There we go, two hundred dollars instead. They're not destructible. Well, I just oofed into a lamp post, so that's kind of funny. Get that bank. Get out of my way. I'm in a bright red car. You should clearly see me. This is our home. Icons indicate entry points for a spot or a challenge. Welcome to my crib. And now that we've leveled up collection, our global level goes up. And we got a achievement for that as well. Thank you for downloading the exploration pack. It gives you access to 20 new missions, 2 new cars, and 3 additional discovery levels. That is good. That is pretty cool. Uh, so you get extreme convoy, drive this car to the destination without getting damaged. Um, and timed convoy. So convoy is where you actually do a event and... The more you damage it, the lower it goes, like the amount of money. So you can start at 50,000, but if you damage your car, it goes down. Extreme gives you no hits at all, and timed gives you a time limit on top of that. Uh, and there's eight new wrecks on Ibiza, and 12 on Hawaii, and two new cars. Oh! Uh, so every time you complete one of those missions, you'll get that. And then by reaching level 18, you will unlock the exclusive Explorer clothes. Okay, cool. Uh, so this is our crib. You can consult the weather, access the news, and learn about new downloadable content for Test Drive. Uh, right, so that's DLC. access to the dressing room. Ooh. If you, yeah, you can you access get... all of your information, you can edit your MyTDU life profile and modify your furniture with MyTDU house. You can also Oh yeah, MyTDU house. To redecorate your interior, it's very simple. You just need to walk around and select the interactive Oh yeah, you can customize all your stuff. Floors, this is so the cool. Walls, the furniture and your own pictures on the walls. The first thing that's going is that sofa. That is disgusting. Uh, but one thing you also get, I mean, look at that. Look at all the 3D rendering in that this house. Door still. Gives you access to the garage. Let's go. 
They put so much effort in this game. It is in so garage, surprising. You your cars and interact with them in the same way as in a car dealer. In each garage, you will. So you can interact with your vehicles and that in the dealerships. Take a look around them. Um, it is honestly quite a nice way to play this game. Uh, right, so we need to go to the classic racing school first. to me. That's not fair. Right, let's go. Meow, meow. Okay, that was like totally not my fault. Um, there's also like an airfield here or something. I don't know whether it's this one or the other one. Allow you to obtain licenses required to participate in championships. There we go. Hey, are you all set up at home now? Why, look here, Todd. It seems there's a new competitor at Solar Crown. Do you mind doing the introductions? Huh. I'd like to present you Miami Harris. She will be one of your opponents for this competition. Let's hope you have more talent for racing than you do for dressing. Somebody needs to give you some advice on style. Mm, come see me. I mean, after I've finished beating you. Ciao. A word to the wise. Watch your back around Miami. She can get really crazy behind the wheel, and she'll do just about anything to make sure she wins a race. Of course, before anything else, you've still got to get that license. Right. I still need to get my own license, actually. I still can't legally drive, so... Uh, that is it. So we can currently do the C4 license, which allows us to drive in C4 championships. Uh, first step, let's give that a try. Let's see how you're doing during this simple exercise. Drive your view. So driving aids are always on sport, so that is good uh, that we pick sport. Right, so these are the checkpoints here. These are off-road checkpoints, so they're actually... Uh, yeah. Oh, and we've got to stop in the zone. There we go, that's the first one done. That's nice and easy. I swear I remember these being more difficult. Right, this is a slalom. One thing that you might notice with Test Drive as well that I really love is the fact that they're extra detail. Every single one has, every single car has its custom dashboard. So well its done. dashboard Another is actually on like in the corner. And it's those little touches that make it this so much better. Races. Classic racing school. So I think this is now um, different corner types. Oh, got a bit of wheel spin surprisingly. I remember why I didn't like this car now, because its first gear was so broken. It would always sort of like put you down and it was really odd. Kind of confusing at the same time as well. Right, we got ourselves a uh, 90 degree right coming up. It says tight, but it's not, if that makes sense.
And there we go, across the finish line. Well done. Another successful test. Next test. You have to adapt your Breaking on a wet track. That's another cool thing, is all the driving mechanics are... They're not the best. They were obviously better. Or to negotiate tight hairpin turns, use the handbrake. Obviously, Forza's driving mechanics are so much better, but... Oh, it told me to use the handbrake and I spun out. Ugh. Oh. Let's try some first person. This car's quite nice in the first person though. Hi Todd. You ready to uh, die and suffer in this test? I think you might have hit the wall there. No, I'm all right. I'm all right, Todd. Don't tell me what to do. Come on! Hang on. There we go. Why would that not come out? <laughs> That's what she said. There you go, see? The first gear always messes up. There we go. That's our fourth challenge done. It really looks like you've got the hang of this. <laughs> He's such a chill guy. Congratulations. Really looks like you got the hang of this. Won't be alone on the road. First overtaken. You have to know how to adapt your position and angle of approach depending on the other vehicles. In this exercise, you have to avoid all of the other cars. Okay, that's cool. Oh, that sounds amazing. Oh, and we've discovered a dealership that we can go to um, to buy some cars if we wanted to. Keep both. I'm so used to crashing into cars, that's the thing. That's my problem. I should probably learn not to do that, um, but why would I? There's no point, there's physically no point. Ah, keep it together, keep it together. Don't you dare crash into me. Come on, we can get past. There we go, and we came out first as well. Well done. Next test, final test. Let's do it. We can do this. Show me how you're do Right, so you have to do this two lap training course. Uh, I should probably come out of first person because that never looks good on video. Um, and I'm probably going to render this in 720p 30 frames just because the game is running in 30 frames. There's no point in waiting around rendering extra frames if it's not there. Um... Um, there isn't actually a driving line in this game. That's the weird thing. Or, so far that I know of, there isn't a driving line. 
Um, because of the fact that it's all too big, they couldn't program it in, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I read that somewhere. No! Oh, we've lost so much time. Right, we need to go quick for this lap. Well, we went off the road a little bit. That's fine. We did not go off road then, but okay. Minus 251. That is all right. Two seventy six. This is looking good. Four nineteen. There we go. That's it. Done. And we've unlocked the C four championship. Really like you got the hang of this. <laughs> well done. This license allows access to new events. A new championship is now accessible. You just need to follow your GPS to get there. Good luck. Thank you for your advice, Todd. Oh, there's more than one uh, voice line. Okay. But the voice lines are terrible. There's like one or two voice lines for our character. Uh, you've obtained the C4 license, you can now do the C4 championship. Right, so I think we're going to do the C4 championship. It shouldn't be too bad. There's only six events in the championship, so... Uh, if we do a couple now, we can do some more in the next episode. Let's go. Meow. C4 championship. Come on, shake a leg, Miami. Finish up with your makeup. Ready? And action. Hi, Solar Crown. Welcome to Ibiza for the first classic car championship. Now, I think it's only fair I warn you, there won't be much in the way of competition, unless you're tuning in to find out who comes in second. Behind me, of course. And speaking of losers, wait until you see the way they were dressed. So last season. Bring on the fresh meat. I'm in the mood to humiliate someone new. <laughs> She's not a very nice person. All right. We have a race to start off with. Look at this. Loading time. Already loaded. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Time is passing by and we need to hurry up. Let's meet the candidates for this timed challenge. The only thing that does take a while to load is the... Uh, Countdown timer, apparently. It takes longer to load the countdown timer than it does to actually count down the time. <laughs> right, so we got to be careful not to lose at any time on this. Ah, I've already messed up. Let's uh, give that a quick retry. Nobody saw that. <laughs> Nobody saw that crash. I am really a good driver. Uh, I should probably go for that camera angle. That might be a little bit better. Two forty three, that's looking good. Why did I not 
break. Okay, we're not too far behind. We can catch up. There you go, see? Catch up time already. Oh, headdresser. That's another thing. Character customization. It is insane the amount of customization there is in this game. We need to make up time. Quick, 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 go faster, go faster. Come on, let's go. First place. Right, let's go for our next event. Back to the map. Let's go for a another timed trial. Sounds good. Two grand reward. Obviously, the rewards the uh, I can't speak. The rewards per event aren't that big. It's the final reward at the end of the championship that's big. TikTok time is passing by, and we need to hurry up. Let's meet the candidates for this timed challenge. Turn your lights off if you want to be an asshole. Drive around dangerously uh, by holding the A button. Um, I live life on the edge. Nah, let's, <laughs> let's turn them back on. There we go, 232. So if we minus 55 from that, we get like one minute, uh, one second in it, 0.8, 1.8 seconds ahead. So we are doing all right. I can't think today. My brain is turned to mush. I can't speak, can't think. I am going crazy. 612, we are way ahead. What? I think I just glitched the game a little bit. Come on, finish line. It's just up ahead. And across the line. Nice. Right, next race. Um, so these three are all physical races. Uh, this is a straight line race. Uh, sprint race, that's the word. <coughs> Let's go. Ba -da -ba -bum. Ba -ba -da -ba. Meeting up on the starting line. The final moments of anticipation before this epic confrontation begins. What surprises will Solar Crown give us this time? <coughs> Checkpoint number one, and we are one point one five ahead. I hope something stuck in my throat and it's bugging me. That was a very quick corner. Um, oh, there. Yeah. 
Okay, so it's Miami right behind us on our tail. But that is fine, we can get away, no problem. Uh, if you guys are enjoying the video so far, make sure to leave a like, because that really helps support the channel. Um, join button also helps support the channel as well. Uh, if you guys do want to get access to extra perks. But, no one's forcing anyone. I just jumped to red light. I feel like a badass. <clears throat> now I wish I actually had like Xbox Live and actually, well, actually had friends when I was younger. <laughs> um, so that I could play this as a multiplayer game, because this game, multiplayer, will probably be the most enjoyable experience you could ever think of. Right, we got to try and stop Miami from overtaking us. There we go. No problem. She just crashed into my car. What a biatch. Next event. Uh, next race, industrial area. This is a lap event, so it's uh, a lot longer, actually, than the rest. Start. I wonder if anyone will be able to compete with me today. I'm feeling in top form. Uh, I think we started first as well. Yeah, we are starting in first. There was no power from the start. It's like you just drop the clutch straight away. Right, let's do this. I've done this race like three or four times now. <laughs> That's how you do it in every game. You just start crashing into cars so that you can turn around. Oh my gosh, Andrew Sullivan, your car is slow. We got a US muscle tuner, so if we had to pick the Mustang, we could upgrade our car in that uh, shop there. Um, or if we buy any other American car, we can go there. Kind of makes sense in the name. Um, but for this car, I think we need to go to a European tuner, I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't like the word tuner because it sounds like tuna the fish. And it's like, it just doesn't sound right. It really bugs me. It messes with my brain. Oh, there we go. Get back on the track. Slow down, make sure we actually make it round the corner. Whoa! <laughs> there was uh, a load of jumps there. Oh, slow down, make sure we get round the corner. There we go. 
Uh, it's going to take quite a bit of getting used to this game because obviously the braking, the fact that there is a slower frame rate, it sort of feels like the cars are going slower than they actually are. Um, like that there. It just goes straight off the road. Um, but hopefully at some point I should start driving a lot better. Also, if anyone wants to uh, donate me a PC, like a decent one that I can uh, use to stream, use to play games, that'd be greatly appreciated. Origin, if you want to uh, sponsor this video, wink wink. <laughs> Probably need a sponsor with the amount of copyright claims from that introduction though. Finish line. Get dunked on. Right, 40 points. We got two more events to do. Hopefully it's a sprint and something else. Uh, yes, it's a very short sprint and speed traps. So uh, let's do the sprint race now. Shouldn't take too long. I wonder if anyone will be able to compete with me today. I'm feeling in top form. <laughs> she is so cocky. Oh, be Miami. That's uh, Miami Harris's own clothing line. She's a bit snobby about that, so uh, we are not shopping there. I'll probably forget, and I'll still shop there. Oh, Tough Orc sent me a message. What's up? Ah! Oh, no. Well, at least Miami's further behind in the pack because she is the one that's behind me in the leaderboard. So if she gets a lower score, oh, real estate agent. So that's where you can actually go and buy uh, new things. What does a real estate agent sell? Houses. That was it. That's where you can buy new houses. I should really have like a list. Stick it on the screen and just be like, hey, this is what this does. Read it. <laughs> um, so this game sort of works like Forza does with its checkpoints. That you just have to touch it and it will count. Um, so as long as you're either inside it or touch the edge, it counts as passing the checkpoint. There we go. There's the finish line. We have one more event left to do. Uh, where is it? Here it is. South San Antonio. Enter. So our minimum speed is... Oh, so this isn't a speed trap. This is... Um, you earn points as you drive. The faster you drive, the more points you earn. They're all here. And we're off. So if you look, once we hit that minimum speed, we start earning points. And depending on how fast we go, it depends on the rate those points we gain. Oh, we're slowly gaining points, but we've also got penalty points as well, so that is great.
Oh, why? Oh, that's ruined my run. That car ruined my run. We can still save it and maybe not get the win, but get the championship win. Um, because Miami didn't come second in the last one. Come on, we can get this. And we still came first. Amazing. 60 points in total. Miami didn't even get maximum second place points. So that is that finished. I think we go on to a cutscene now, do we? Yes. Leave me alone, you vultures. Don't you creeps have any dignity? It looks like Miami has found someone to give her a real <laughs> challenge. And she's none too happy about it. What an incredible victory! We still look like a valet as well. <laughs> she's insulted. She's been real offended. Right, well that's going to do it for today's episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And if you want to help support the channel, Hit that join button, it means the world to me, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.